Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new serger. Um, it just came in the mail yesterday, so it was hard for me to wait to open this bad boy, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what I got. I ended up getting um, a brother serger. It is, I don't, let me check the name on it. It's a brother um, 1034DX. Um, lock I guess it's called I don't know how, how what you call it but it's just a brother serger I got this online from Walmart for $199 so it was a really good price and I've been really really wanting a serger for the longest time but I was just really hesitant because of the price and if you do watch my videos you all know that I am trying to save up money to get a multi-needle machine hopefully I'm hoping a Melco that's my, my dream machine but unfortunately I can't afford that right now. So I thought that I could go ahead and just get this serger because that could be an opportunity for me to make other items to add to my Etsy shop for me to be able to make potentially more money. So I have a lot of projects in mind for this serger. So definitely keep a lookout for that video because I do, um, I do plan on showing you guys um, my first project. Um, I'm going to wait to tell you guys because I want it to be a surprise, but don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and definitely hit that notification bell because I plan on using this relatively soon, so you don't want to miss it. But let's just go ahead and dive in to the whole unboxing. Um, I have my, they were my fabric scissors, but somehow, some way, they got, they ended up being used for... Um, a bunch of other things so <laughs> they're no longer my fabric scissors so I definitely need to reinvest in some fa fabric scissors but anyways I'm getting off topic like usual but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up so I ordered this off um, Walmart and I think I ordered it on a Friday and I ended up getting it on a Monday. I was actually supposed to get it today, which is Tuesday, but it came a day early. And I was comparing prices on Amazon, Walmart, and a couple other online stores. And Walmart seemed to have the best deal, so that's why I went with Walmart. So just opening the box, first thing that I'm noticing is just um, a DVD. Um, Yep, I'm assuming it's an instructional DVD, so I probably won't watch this. I'll probably end up just watching some YouTube video on it, but it has the manual as well. I like to keep all this stuff um, in the box, um, just in case I ever need to reference it. Or it comes with a pedal for you to be able to stop and start your machine. This is just, I'm assuming this goes on the machine and it kind of just holds all your basic tools that you need for the sewing machine. I don't ever use this. I don't ever really use this little compartment, even on my sewing machine to hold all my tools. I actually keep my tools all together in like a little pouch. Um, all right, I'm gonna put the styrofoam on. Interesting. So inside this box, um, I see the serger. Let me. Oh, I hate being so short. <laughs> and let me just show you guys real fast. Okay. So I just noticed my auto auto focus was not on on my camera. So hopefully that last little scene wasn't all blurry. But anyways, so I'm noticing they have all these different threads. Now, I have no clue what those are meant for. I thought you basically would use like white thread. Um, I still haven't watched any like YouTube videos on it or learned anything about this machine. So I'll probably end up learning why, why this machine came with these colors. But here's what it looks like in the box. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Has on shorts. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up this way. So, um, 
so it came with a little bag of so it looks like some tools. Um, it looks like it came with a bunch of different feet. Some needles, which I probably need to purchase um, some other types of needles. I don't know. I have some needles. Uh, it looks like they're 8012 and 9014. Um, so maybe I already have those size needles. Um, what else do I got? I have this tool or this foot, which I have no clue what the difference is between this foot versus this foot. I'm a complete noob. So if you want to leave like any of your knowledge about sergers down in the comments, please, please leave me some information down below just because I have a lot of learning to do. I kind of just jumped into this without doing any research and I'm the type of person that loves to do a ton of research on whatever machine that I plan on buying but I was just too eager to get one of these machines so I just kind of splurged and bought it. Now there's some of these, whatever these are for, and then comes with these cool little tweezers and whatever this tool's for. No clue. No clue, guys, so I have a lot of learning to do, but I love YouTube University, so I'll just watch a ton of YouTube videos. I'll watch a ton of YouTube videos and learn that way. Um, that's basically how I learned how to use my sewing machine, how I use my embroidery machine, my Cricut. Um, YouTube can teach you a lot. Okay. Things a little heavy, not super heavy, but heavier than my sewing machine. And then that is it for the box. I am going to keep my box. I always keep all my boxes to all my machines just in case I ever need to return it or if I move, it makes it even easier. Um, or if I ever plan on selling it, it's always nice to have the original box. Anyways, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to grab my camera and get a closer shot for you guys. It's definitely much smaller than my sewing machine, um, which is nice because I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. I have my embroidery machine here, I have my Cricut heat press, and then over here I have my sewing machine. So don't mind all this mess. I need to actually clean all this and declutter, but I'll probably end up putting it over here. But it is kind of small, so that's kind of nice, so it won't take up a lot of space. Um, because I work in my kitchen, so I don't have a lot of room to work with. But, yeah, guys, it has this for whatever reason. Again, I don't know why there's all these different colored threads. I have so much to learn. I have no clue. About, I don't know anything about this machine. Um, I don't even know why I bought this machine. Well, actually, I do know why I bought this machine. Um, Amber... Um, from Bingham Bliss, she actually has this exact serger, so I thought, well, she's an expert at using a serger, so why not get the same one as her, and this one was affordable, so basically <laughs> the two reasons why I went with this machine, but yeah, guys, that is basically it. This is going to be a little short video. Um, I would show you guys how I would use it, but again, I have no clue on how to use this machine so definitely keep a lookout for a video on me using this bad boy I'm so excited so so excited okay guys so a rookie move <laughs> again I don't know anything about this machine or how to use a serger in general but I just realized that the little pleat piece that I thought was a little drawer to hold all your tools that's basically what mine on my other sewing machine looks like but Basically, this is just for you to be able, like when you're serging or sewing or whatever you call it, um, it does cut off like a little bit of the fabric. So this is just like a collection tray. So when it's full, you just dump out all your scraps so it doesn't make a mess everywhere. But yeah, I have so much to learn about this machine. I'm so excited. Um, if you can, down in the comments below, if you know any good like 
YouTube videos that I should watch that will teach me how to use this machine, please, please, please leave those down in the comments below. All right, guys. Well, that's basically it for this video. Again, it's just a short one. I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing of my new baby. Um, I'm going to go right after I'm done with this video. I'm going to go watch a bunch of YouTube videos on how to use this bad boy. Like, I don't even know how to thread this machine. I actually um, got this thread off Amazon, so I need to thread my machine and then do a couple practice projects. And then I have a whole outfit planned out for um, this machine um, because I plan on making a bunch of new baby items. And like Amber Bingham Bliss, she makes a lot of rompers and um, headbands and things like that. So I definitely want to try out a headband. I'm thinking that'll kind of be like one of my practice runs. But I definitely will have a tutorial for you guys on what I plan on making and what I plan on adding to my shop. So again, keep a lookout for that video. But if you liked this unboxing video, make sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I am trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. Currently I'm at like 2,600, almost to 2,700 actually. So if you can help a girl out, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do recommend you joining my Discord. I will be sharing all my projects and all the things I make with this machine and what I make with all my other machines too. So if you want to see a lot of embroidery stuff, a lot of Cricut stuff, a lot of sewing and surgery stuff, but definitely go check out my Discord so you can see all my projects and all the fun things that I'm making along with all the fun things that everyone else is making as part of my Discord. But anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and I will see you guys next time. Bye!